when we went to put it up, I was thinking, what, what would a trucker stop at? And, and a truck stop and a coffee stop was somewhat synonymous. When we first got it there, they, when they, the coffee pot was a marker that you're almost to Omaha, and uh, every people had really appreciated it. So uh, the, uh, the, the water tire become our icon. We know the coffee pot and that acclaimed last name, but do you know the backstory? Hey, brother. There's an endless road to rediscover. It started with four brothers, Ray, Lee, Dean, and Bill Sapp, the sons of a hard-working tenant farmer and an angel of a mother. Children of the Great Depression, raised in southeast Nebraska with their three sisters. Cold water was a treat. We didn't, uh, we didn't have electricity, of course. And it was just hard times. and. Uh, we had very, very little, I can tell you that. <laughs> Hardship and being without, they say, was the best thing that ever happened to them. An incentive to work hard, be persistent, and succeed. Today, Sap Brothers Incorporated employs more than 1,400 people with annual revenue exceeding $1.5 billion. I believe, in fact, that Sap Brothers over the years, you either got to grow or go, and so We've kept growing, we've expanded, and uh, we're still expanding. Ray and Dean have since passed. Bill and Lee are left to carry on the legacy. And what a legacy it has become. 16 travel centers from Pennsylvania to Wyoming with the 17th set to open in Missouri this year. Sap Brothers Petroleum, Sap Brothers Propane. The enterprise also includes tire sales, weigh scales, and a new area of expansion, compressed natural gas. Above all, you know, uh, yes, I think I'd probably is, is keep the customer first, take care of the customer, because the truth is the customer takes care of you if you take care of him. We have on most of our canopies now, it says, come be our guest. And, and we hope then, uh, and, and try to train our people to treat them as guests. The genesis of the Sap Brothers endeavor, symbolized by that iconic coffee pot, can be traced back to 1960, the brothers had all served during the Korean War years prior. Ray and Lee in the Navy, Dean in the Air Force, Bill in the Army. Well, I was first in business and, uh, for a few years before the brothers uh, joined. And... A gifted salesperson, Lee started in business in 1952, turning a struggling frozen food company into a successful franchise operation. Bill graduated from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln in 1958 on the GI Bill. He dabbled in real estate and worked for Prudential Life Insurance until the brothers decided to pool their money, $10,000 each, and go into business together. They opened a Ford dealership in Ashland in 1960. They couldn't believe our, our sales record. One dealership grew into three, two Ford dealerships, one GMC. When it came time to expand the GMC operation in 1967, the brothers made a fateful decision they bought 52 acres of land at the intersection of a fledgling Interstate 80 and Highway 50. Brother Dean is credited with raising the question, why not build a truck stop on the land? We had God with us all the way to help. Right down to the decision to buy an old water tower at scrap iron prices and convert it into something that would beckon truckers, a big coffee pot. I really felt that uh, uh, the Lord has spoke to me that I needed this, this a water tower. The Lord was good to us that, uh, that we got to put it up. The Lord was good to us many, many times. Good mentors, including the late Fred and Maxine Bosselman of Bosselman Travel Center fame, also played a part in their astronomic success along with the love of supportive spouses. I think someone that I haven't talked about or that we should is our wives, because they've been the greatest assets in the world for People like us, anyway, in my opinion, we couldn't, we were, we got the right ladies. Lee and Helene married in 1954 and had two children, Lee Allen and Lori Ann. Lee lost Lori Ann to cancer in 2004, his beloved wife to Alzheimer's disease four years later. Faith and the embrace of family, including his two grandsons, pulled him through the dark times. Bill and Lucille married in 1953. They have four married daughters, Suzanne, Mary, Nancy, and Cindy, nine grandkids, and two great-grandchildren. 
Uh, Lucille was my buddy, my friend, and every now and then she would say, Bill, have you thought about this? And whenever she says that, I knew that it was something I should be thinking about that <laughs> I probably wasn't. Faith-filled and generous with their success, Bill and Lucille have distributed more than 350,000 New Testaments around the world, just one of the wide-reaching and remarkable acts of sap philanthropy. I feel that we're here to help other people, and we're willing to share how God has blessed us, and, and we have uh, uh, shared uh, with colleges, and, and uh, Brother Lee has uh, with some facilities at the University of Nebraska, including the Lee and Helene Sapp Fieldhouse on the UNO campus and the Lee and Helene Sapp Recreation Facility at UNL. He's also established the scholarships for students in need. Both in their 80s now, Bill still comes into the office every day. Lee is working on retiring, but doesn't think he'll ever get there. You know all the people that we know and have did business with and people that have helped us. And, uh, I don't know how we could have been so lucky. I think we were very lucky people. Hey, brother, do you still believe in one another? It's been an amazing journey for the Sapp brothers, and their journey has been a part of so many of our journeys. How many times have we seen that iconic coffee pot and known we're almost home? What if I'm far from home? Oh, brother, I will hear you call. Welcome to the Omaha Business Hall of Fame, Sap Brothers.